This is Ben from Making Spider Sense, and this is my first tutorial of hopefully many more to come. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about Google Recaptcha version 2.0, which came out in 2014. And we're going to be talking about how to install it in just a few simple steps. So, um, first, let me demonstrate um, how it's how it's used. This is my website, my personal website, and we have a form down here. And this is the capture right here. It's a checkbox that sometimes requires you to complete um, easy little puzzles to make sure you're a human. Um, so if we try and submit it without checking it, please go back and make sure you check the security capture box. All right, so let's check it. All right, and we're going to submit it and uh, your inquiry has been successfully submitted. So as you can see, it works. Now, now about how to set it up. You're going to want to go to Google Recaptcha's landing page. It's pretty simple to get to. Um, otherwise, you can just follow this URL up here. And then click Get Recaptcha. All right, I already have a few um, set up on other sites. But uh, you scroll down to register a new site. We're just going to put example.com. Um, this is a label. It doesn't really matter what you put. You could, you could just put example if you want. Um, and then here you list all the domains that point to the main domain. So first type in the main domain example.com. And then if you have if example2.com also points to example.com, you put that there too. And then click register. I already registered it, um, so I'm just going to click here, but either way it'll take you to the same page. Um, if we scroll down and click on keys, we're going to be given two keys specific to that domain that we just set up, example.com. Um, so we have a public key or the site key, which is right here, and the secret key, otherwise known as the private key. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I don't care that you guys see it, but normally you want to keep it secret. Alright, um, so now I'll show you the pages we're going to be using. Um, this is uh, this is my tutorial example page, so um, this, this will actually be in the description below, so you guys could just copy and paste this code. I'm not really going to be explaining in depth like what this code all means, just basically where you need to put it. Then we have the test page. This contains our form. And now notice that this is a PHP page. I'm using PHP to add this CAPTCHA. So you're going to want to rename. Um, actually, this one, this page doesn't really matter if it's named PHP. I just name all my sites PHP because it allows you to add PHP code. But the submission page, um, where we're going to have the code on basically I have it set up so that it sends an email out um, when the form is submitted. So that needs to be in PHP. Um, but I, it's a simple change, just change .html to .php, and all it does is allow you to add PHP to the page. Um, and you, you're not going to really need to know PHP too much for this. So we have the simple form. We have input subject input a message and the submit button. Um, and I'm going to show you what it looks like real quick. Right, this is what it looks like. There's no recaptcha right now. Um, we got this is a test. We're going to submit it and we're going to see it works. All right. um, now let's add the captcha in there. And this is the part where you follow the three quick simple steps. Um, step one, paste this into the header. So let's copy this and we'll paste it right in here, right in between the two head tags. Okay, step two, copy and paste this where you want the widget to appear. We're going to want the widget to appear right before the submit button. So here's the submit button. There it is. Now we're going to have to add the public key. So that's otherwise known as the site key. Copy and paste. All right, now we're done with the form page. Now over to the submission page. Um, so step three, the submission page. 
we're going to copy all this code. It's kind of a big chunk, but don't get intimidated by it. We're just going to basically, it's all simple copying and pasting. All right, got to copy and paste the private key in there. otherwise known as the secret key. All right, and so here we have, this is the main function, um, and then we're calling the function, and then um, it's gonna check to see if the capture was submitted successfully or not. Um, this explanation mark means if it's not successfully submitted, you're gonna get this error message. Please go back and make sure it's checked. Otherwise, if it's successfully submitted, we're going to paste our um, our statements that we want to execute here, which is basically I'm going to be pasting this email code. Copy and paste. And then we're just going to tab it over to make it look nice and delete this. And there we have it. It's all set up and it should work. So I'm going to go and uh, upload this right now. All right, so I just uploaded the two files behind the scenes. I also changed um, the public and private key to the ones that match my domain, because before I did it for example.com, and if you have the wrong domain, it's not going to work. Um, so now let's refresh the page, and the capture should appear. There it is. And let's try and submit it without checking it. Please go back and make sure you check the capture box. And let's check it and submit it. There you go, your message has been sent. So as you can see it worked out just fine. Um, so this code will be in the description of this video or there'll be a link to where you can access the code and copy and paste it and use it how you like. Um, I think it's good to even just save it. I have it named Tutorial Recaptcha and just save it somewhere where so whenever you need to use it, you could just simply follow these three step um, follow these three steps and um, have your have your captcha on any site you want. So thank you all for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and or comment because that would be super helpful since I'm a newer YouTube channel. Um, and if you want to see more tutorials in the future, please subscribe because there will be more.